Allianz, Germany's leading insurer, has developed a bumper crash test simulating a typical accident in town with one car hitting the other at low speed. The only way to reduce damage in that case is to make the car's bumpers compatible. Should they differ in height, soft structures on the car may also be damaged, and repairing the radiator or electrical components is expensive, costing two to three times as much as on two cars where the bumpers absorb the impact energy. Even today there are no regulations specifying what bumpers should be like and how they should be positioned. So we've developed the first test specifying how high up on the car and how large the bumpers should be. So dass wir hier erstmalig eigentlich ein solches Kriterium haben. Hier sehen wir jetzt den Versuchsaufbau noch zusammenstehend. Das Fahrzeug Here we have a barrier with metal and plastic parts. And here we have the car with the surface of its bumper cut out to present a broader picture. You also see the crash management system painted yellow to make everything clear. Here's the bumper crossbar at the front and the crash box behind it, both of which must absorb this energy. This test developed by Allianz has been adopted by the Association of German Insurers, making it obligatory for insurance ratings in Germany since the beginning of this year. And the test is also important to car makers in their development process. We're convinced we've done the right thing and that the crash test will confirm in this case that Audi has the right bumper systems to meet these requirements. The bumper test is part of Audi's specifications and is taken into account in the development of all of their models. Depending on how a car passes this test, its insurance rating may vary by two classes. This, of course, is really interesting to the customer. If the manufacturer has done a good job, he will face less damage in the event of an accident and ensuring his new car will be cheaper.